Hey guys, it's Chris, and um, today I'm going to be unboxing my MGP Chaos Pro Scooter. Okay, um, this scooter I think is like $120 on Amazon.com. That's, I mean, that's just what it's called on Amazon, so let's get into opening it. Pull it up here for it. You can see the, see it here. Okay, in the box comes not really much you can see. Let's take this out. I uh -huh. don't think anything's in there. It's just like a box. Let's take the bars out. Okay, so got the bars on. Um, really? And there's just like a warning sticker on the deck. I feel it like it feels like pretty heavy, like pretty solid. I mean, not really heavy, just like solid feel to it. I'm just gonna take this sticker off real quick. And Came off nice. Alright, well, I think the only thing left to do is take this outside and ride it. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick drop test for all of you who want to see that. Okay, so. okay, so, um, after, you know, riding this around a little bit and you know, just getting the feel for it. Um, this is actually a very high quality, um, like, just genuinely good scooter. Um, this would be more of like a street scooter, I think. Um, just the way it's built. But let's go over um, what I think about um, everything. So, start off with the grips. Um, I love these grips. They're called the MGP Squid Grips. Like, um, signature original squid grips or whatever okay I love them they're really soft gushy feel love them okay um, now with the bars um, the bars are okay um, the bars are the lowest these bars the MGP Y bars are the um, I think the like oop, <laughs> cheapest um, bars that MGP makes um, Correct me if I'm wrong. No, I think the um, the bars that come on the um, Extreme Pro or whatever, like the the $100 one, this is one level above that. I think, um, like I said, $100 and um, $20 on Amazon.com. It's just called the MGP Chaos Pro. Okay, and then moving on to the clamp. Clamp's just standard MGP double clamp. Um, you know, that's okay. Not much to say there. And the headset, um, it doesn't really, well, it does not have an HIC compression headset. That's one thing that I did not take into consideration when looking at buying one. Um, because this is my previous scooter, okay, my previous setup. Um, it was like, it had, I think, um, uh, well, it has the same wheels. Um, what else does it have? It has, well, I don't know what kind of deck this is. It has MGP, um, alloy core wheels. It has, um, stock, stock forks with this deck. Um, and this is just like a normal, like, scooter headset. Okay, I'm not really sure what you call it. And then the forks. But, I, I was looking, and I was thinking to myself, like, oh, I'd like to have that, um, like, HIC. Um, and this has reaper bars on it too. Um, but 
Yeah, if you are looking to get the HIC compression, though, um, I would go with the grit. I'm not really sure what it is. It's, um, I think, 120 also, and it's just the grit um, HIC. I don't know, just look up grit HIC scooter, pro scooter on Amazon. You'll find it. Um, that would be a better alternative to, whoops, well, whatever, to this if you're looking to get that. Okay, moving on to the wheels. Um, personally, I love these wheels. Um, these wheels are great. They're the alloy alloy core. Um, you can see that. Better. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice wheels. They're pretty gooey when you first. You can see here. Um, these are the same wheels. Okay, if you can see that. This is the same wheels. It's obviously older, newer. I mean. Um, so yeah, you can see they wear pretty easily. I'd say. <laughs> okay, and then now to the deck. This deck is fabulous. Um, although fairly heavy, like hefty. It's not really heavy. It's just hefty. I mean. Uh, significantly, significantly heavier than this scooter than my previous one. Okay, and um, I mean the deck. Let's see, bottom of it there. I mean, it just has like a. I don't know what you call that. I mean, yeah, it has like lips on either side. Okay, grip tape. Not much to say there. It has like a stripe down the middle. Okay, I have no grip. Um, I don't really like the graphics on the bars or the grip. I mean, I just that's just not me. Okay, brake. Not much to say. I mean, just a normal flex brake. Um, so, yeah. That is my unboxing. Oh, I forgot to rate it. So, if you... If I had to rate this scooter out of five stars, I would rate this four and a half to five um definitely yeah great scooter um for the money i mean you think like what other options do you have besides a fusion which i would not recommend uh, um they're just they're really hard to maintain i guess like they're really hard to dial and you know other stuff but they're just not that great so, um, like, what other alternatives do you have for a 100 range dollar scooter? Um, other than this, the Grit, uh, another MGP, um, I mean, this is pretty much it. I think this is great, great scooter. Great scooter. I love it. Um, like I said, I did get this off Amazon.com. I'll put a link in the description. Or where to get that. Um, so yeah, oh, the bearings. The bearings in here, just standard MGP bearings. Um, I don't know, they're like red. Here, spin them. I mean, they spin like pretty, pretty good. They, they roll, spin great. Um, another thing that I noticed was, what was that, just this? That the um the wheel comes in contact with the fork sometimes here because there's not much room. But once I wear it down, it won't be a problem. You can see the MGP logo there looks pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not really much I can say about this scooter. I mean, it's a great scooter. I love it. Um, so yeah, forget to like, comment.